What's up everyone? Welcome to Cart Life. I'm Sammy D. If this is your first time here, please have a look at my other videos all about Mario Kart Tour and the history of the Mario Kart franchise. I'm hoping to get into it more. This has just been totally for fun. Uh, it's been a real fun time doing it. Thanks to everyone who subscribed, commented, and liked. And please leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed this video. Today I'm bringing you kind of a core video that I've been wanting to make for a while since Mario Kart Tour came out. We're six months into Mario Kart Tour. It's been so fun. Um, there have been some ups and downs, but it's going strong, and I'm still playing every day. Hope you are too. Today, it's finally time for my personal wish list of top 20 characters for Mario Kart Tour. I love the Mario universe and the characters. I've been playing the Mario games since I was a kid, since Super Mario Brothers. I came of age right when Super Mario World and Super Mario Kart came out in the early 90s, and I've been playing all the Mario Kart games ever since. And there's just so many great characters Characters that I would love to see in a Mario Kart game racing alongside the others. So I'm going to give you my top 20 most wanted characters from Mario Kart Tour. So as of now, six months into Mario Kart Tour, there are tons of drivers. There's more drivers in Mario Kart Tour than have ever been in a Mario Kart game before. So despite all these reskins, we have so many options. But a good majority of them are reskins, especially when it comes to the spotlights they release every tour. It's a lot of reskins, a lot of seasonal based or tour based reskins that are very specific. They're not really characters from any past Mario game. And lots of the reskins have been really fun and really great. And there's still more great reskins they could do. Now, some people have said, you know, there's all these reskins, these different colored Yoshi, Shy Guys, different versions of Mario and Peach. And people have said, don't worry, eventually they're going to release every Mario character ever into Mario Kart Tour. I don't know about that. The amount they've focused on reskins that are based on just the tour, like Hiker Wario for Vancouver Tour. There's never been a War Hiker Wario before, it's just specific to that tour. And the fact that they've only rolled out a couple actual new characters, like Birdo in the December Tour was the last brand new character. This is actually making me quite worried that they won't, in fact, release new original characters very much more into the game. My fear is that the development of new characters and new character models is kind of over. So this list will largely be kind of like really fun wishful thinking just using my imagination of what I would love to see in the game and I don't know if we'll ever get them or not but hey maybe they're watching and they'll get some ideas. With the new courses that have been data mined for Mario Kart Tour the rumors of new content they could add throughout the year to extend the life of this game through 2020 or till the next big Mario Kart game comes out for Switch there is some hope I think that with new courses possible new characters they could finally bring into the game that fans have always wanted, like some of the ones I'll mention in this list, that you could see kind of a wave two of Mario Kart Tour where a whole bunch of new stuff comes out. How tired are we of the baby Peaches, the baby Marios, the baby characters, the Bubbles, the Koopa Kids over and over every time you pull the pipe? It would be so fun to get some new normal drivers, some new super drivers, and some new high ends that are unique characters. And that's what I'm gonna talk about today. Quick disclaimer before I get into the list. There'll be no reskins in this list. Um, that will be another video I can do. Things like Tanuki Mario from Mario Kart 8. And a very specific disclaimer. There will be no characters that don't have arms. I stumbled upon this problem because I thought about Goomba and how people have always wanted Goomba to be a driver. He's so far just been an obstacle in all these games, especially in Mario Kart Tour with the Goomba takedowns. But Goombas don't have arms, so sorry Goomba, you're just gonna have to remain a background character for a while longer. So let's get into it. My top 20 characters I want to see in Mario Kart Tour. And let's start out with a couple of ties. At number 20, we have a tie. It's Wiggler and Honey Queen. I don't have too much to say about these. Wiggler first appeared in Super Mario World. He's the long centipede-like guy. He's had plenty of cameos in other Mario Kart games and was playable in Mario Kart 7. Mario Kart 8 has the Wild Wiggler, which is a cart. Honey Queen was a boss in Super Mario Galaxy and Mario Galaxy 2, really underrated, incredible games for the Wii and Wii U. And she was playable in Mario Kart 7 as a racer. So we figure these are racers that have been in here before. They can have great springtime themes like a spring tour or Wiggler was in Maple Tree Way in Mario Kart Wii, so that could be great for an autumn tour. So two characters that have raced before in Mario Kart that have not made it to the game yet let's see if they come. I've made these fun mock-ups of what the character icons would look like, so here you go. At number 19, another tie for a couple of common characters we could have in the game. Two beloved little background characters from Super Mario Sunshine. The Pianta and the Nobi. So these are the citizens of Isle Delfino, and they've been the background of all the Mario Kart games, especially the Piantas, like ever since. So I just feel it's time. Delfino Square from Mario Kart 7 is one of my favorite tracks ever. So I 
would love to see this come in like a sunshine tour. So in my little mock up here, I gave them uh, pineapples and coconuts and Isle Delfino, there's all these fruits and you could basically reskin the banana very easily to just look like a pineapple and a coconut. And you know, that doesn't, it's not much effort, but just a simple reskin like that to change it up a little bit and add more variety to the game would be super fun to see like, Pianta, uh, pineapples all over the place and you know that the Pianta has been racing with you. Number 18, another returning character of the Mario Kart series that has played before. It's a big fan favorite and it's Funky Kong. I'm gonna go ahead and say I'm not super well versed in the Donkey Kong Country series. Somehow I missed that game like in high school. I don't know why, but he did come to Mario Kart Wii as a racer and actually had his own battle course in that game called Funky Stadium. So that could be a fun track they could do. So I know a lot of fans want Funky Kong. I could go either way, but given this one uh, on the list for the fans of Funky Kong and giving them a giant banana, I figured that'd be good. Uh, great frenzy, so make him a high end, uh, bring him in on some summer tour or some Donkey Kong related tour, give him the giant banana, could be really fun. Number 17 and number 16 are some background uh, supporting baddies from the history of the Mario games that I would really love to see just aesthetically in the game. Number 17 is Ninji, so Super Mario Brothers Tour, right? Um, you have, that's where Shy Guy comes from, Birdo, and then you have Ninji, who is a little background character, of course, based on Doki Doki Panic, the game that Super Mario Bros. 2 kind of adapted to become what it was. Ninji's actually been in lots of other Mario games in cameo role, like uh, Mario and Luigi series, the Paper Mario series, even in Super Mario Run, the mobile game for the phone. So I'm trying to look at these other games they're doing like these days and figure out what characters are being shown and developed and kind of promoted by Nintendo that could actually make it into other games like Mario Kart Tour. Ninji's just an awesome design, like cool little black, white, and red character with little buttons. I just love Ninji and it'd be super fun. I feel like he'd become a fan favorite if he became just like a normal driver um, to add into the mix. For his item, I've got Ninja Star. He threw these in his original appearance in Mario Brothers 2 and you could just reskin the boomerang very easily. Boomerang, of course, is an awesome item. So just turn it into a ninja star and he throws it around the circle. Number 16 is Rex. So look familiar, kind of look like Yoshi. That's because in the original Super Mario World game, it was of course set in Dinosaur Land. By the way, Dinosaur Land Tour would be super awesome. And Rex was like very common in that game, a very standard bad guy and appeared later in the Mario and Luigi series, Super Princess Peach, but generally has been kind of phased out of the Mario world. See, Super Mario World was designed around the same time as Super Mario Kart, the original game. A lot of the same developers worked on these games and Mario Paint, the same composers did the music. And my nostalgia for the original Super Mario Kart makes me also nostalgic for the characters around Super Mario World that's from the same time. So I would love to see Rex come back as kind of like a Yoshi alternate. He's got cool colors, kind of like a blue, purple, and with like a creamy orange belly. And I gave him the triple red shells. Again, this is just another example of just another regular common they could add just to change it up from all these Koopa Kids and babies and give some new life to the normal class of characters. Okay, for number 15, I'm going out a little bit out of my comfort zone and I'm gonna go with Gino, Super Mario RPG. I remember playing it, but I'm not like a diehard fan of that series. I know there are a lot of people out there and Gino is one of Mario and Luigi's partners in the game along with this character, Mallow. And I just recalled this character, uh, my friend Tim mentioned to me, I was like, this is the coolest looking character aesthetically. Like what a great design for a character. And Gino didn't really come back into a lot of games, but had a big amount of fan love. In fact, there's a great video I'll link to in the description below about just the history of the fan love for Gino and how the fans really wanted Gino to ultimately become in uh, the Smash series. Now Gino uses all kind of magic in Super Mario RPG. I think he has this like big sun attack that could be cool to port into Mario Kart Tour where you have like a, bomb radius that's like this giant sun that he leaves behind but for now just wanted to give a shout out to the thundercloud and give this to gino it's an item that we haven't seen in mario kart in a while but it follows you around as you're racing and you have like 10 seconds to knock someone else it passes the thundercloud on to someone else and then strikes them with lightning it's kind of fun so i don't know i just randomly decided to give uh, Gino the Thundercloud, so there you go. Number 14, another fan favorite I've heard talked about a lot for Mario Kart Tour, it's Nabbit. 
Nabbit is a relatively recent character in the Mario series, came in for New Super Mario Bros. 1 and 2. Cool little character design, really cute and like rascally. He's got this uh, bandana with a painted mouth, kind of like Bowser Jr. does, but not affiliated with Bowser. He's a total rogue agent that runs around stealing items. So he's got this sack over his shoulder. I gave him the Lucky 7 for right now, just cause it's like, I imagine the bag filled with like all kinds of items. So Lucky 7 could be really fun. I have him as a super tier character. I would love to see Nabbit come in. I think a lot of other fans would too. And there's a little Easter egg already in Mario Kart Tour. There's a little Nabbit soda bottle badge. I don't know if that's a sign that they're working on him already. A lot of people think it might be, but hopefully he's coming to the game soon. For number 13, I've got another tie and we're going back to Super Mario Brothers 2. Two major characters that have never really returned. We'd love to see them. That's right, it's Big Boss Wart and Mouser. Wart, aka Mamu, was the final boss of Super Mario Bros. 2, which is again based on Doki Doki Panic originally. And Wart did also appear in Link's Awakening under the name Mamu. If you've played Link's Awakening or the new version of Link's Awakening for Switch, really fun game. Wart does make an appearance because it's like in the dream world. Of course, Super Mario Bros. 2 is in this dream world called Subcon. By the way, Subcon Tour would be an awesome way to introduce these characters. But you have Shy Guy and Birdo um, carrying over from Super Mario Bros. 2 ever since. Meanwhile, Mauser totally left behind. He's a cool little character. I've got both of these as high ends. Of course, Mauser would have bombs. He would throw bombs in the original game every time you encounter him as a boss. And for Ward, I've got the Super Horn. Bringing in Super Mario Bros. 2 characters that have been like loved by fans ever since the 90s. It would be such a big thing to do for fans. It would be pretty epic. Number 12, Hammer Brother. It's a long time coming. This would have been really great for the Mario Brothers tour, unfortunately. This is another sign where I feel like they're not developing new characters right now. Otherwise, it'd be perfect to bring them in for the Mario Brothers tour as a throwback. Hammer Brothers been spectating in Mario Kart <laughs> on almost every game, somewhere in the background, the bleachers or in the awards ceremony, but never been a playable character. You can just imagine the hammers being a really fun item. They could, they'd have to design a new mechanic for this where you're tossing them forward, but it'd be really fun. Imagine a frenzy just chucking uh, hammers like they used to back in the old games. Plus the reskin potential is great. Uh, if you want reskins, you got plenty of options. You got Fire Brothers, Ice Brothers, um, Boomerang Brothers, and then even others like Sumo Brothers and other crazy variants. There have been so many. But let's get the Hammer Brother in the game. It's time to do it. And at 11, Monty Mole. So Monty Mole's been in basically every Mario game there has been ever since Mario Brothers 3. It was kind of evolved from the Rocky Wrench that pops up out of the airship and throws the wrench straight at you. Monty Mole kind of evolved out of that. In Super Mario Kart, of course, we remember the Monty Moles popping out in Donut Plains, and then they actually grabbed onto you in that game and held onto you while you drove. And that was a cool little feature that totally disappeared from Mario Kart. And then of course you remember them popping up very annoyingly in Moo Moo Farms as you're trying to drift around in Mario Kart 64 and get through that track. But Monty Mole has been in tons of games ever since and actually was a playable character in Super Mario Party for Switch. So again, looking at new games that are coming out right now from Nintendo, characters they're putting a little bit of investment in. Monty Mole's Really fun, really cute, really great. He'd be a great new, normal, common driver. I gave him the bombs for now. You could do something with the wrenches and Rocky Wrench. I guess Rocky Wrench could be a reskin of Monty Mall as well, but I'm just giving him bombs for now. All right, we're at the top 10 characters I would love to see in Mario Kart Tour. Number 10 is Petey Piranha. He's been in the game before, Double Dash. He was King Boo's partner in Double Dash. First appearance was in Mario Sunshine, actually, and there have been tons of appearances of PD Piranha ever since. Of course, there's always the Piranha Plant from the original game. PD Piranha became a boss character of his own right in Super Mario Sunshine, where you're spraying the goop off of him in the first uh, level. And there have been lots of variations on the Piranha boss ever since in different games, but PD Piranha has been a mainstay, and he was that racer in Mario Kart Double Dash. So we're looking at other racers from Mario Kart games that have yet to come back into Mario Kart Tour. Let's get Petey Piranha back in there. He was originally slated from Mario Kart Wii as a driver and was removed from the game, but there is a cart based on Petey, the Piranha Prowler. So we could have that come back into the game as well. Number nine is just a little baddie that I've always loved. I think he's really adorable and cool. It's Spike. 
Spike uh, first appeared in Super Mario Brothers 3, has really been a baddie that's appeared in tons of Mario games ever since, so many of them, including Super Mario Run on the mobile. He's also playable in Mario Tennis Aces on the Switch, a recent game, so there are models of him right now going around. He's just adorable, I think he'd be a fan favorite. Common tier is where I've got him, and for his item, he would always throw these spike balls, so obviously we want that to be his weapon. I think you could very easily just reskin the green shell. So it shoots just straight forward, it rolls, it's a spiky ball, but it's bigger than a green shell, so it does a little more damage. It'd be so fun. Number eight is a big fan request. I know it's Professor E. Gad, the beloved scientist from the Luigi's Mansion series, also known for patenting Mario's flood device from Super Mario Sunshine and a lot of other items that have appeared throughout the Mario games. A fun fact, in the Mario Kart Arcade GP, which is one of the two actual arcade games of Mario Kart, EGAD does have a cameo in the Diamond City track. There's an EGAD statue and some EGAD signage for his products. Diamond City is a WarioWare reference. I mean, this just gets my mind racing with all the possibilities for like a WarioWare-centric tour. There's some overlap with EGAD there. Diamond City is a track. EGAD also designed Robo Mario, who is a driver in Mario Kart Arcade GP. I haven't figured out a way to unlock him in the arcade game yet. Of course, you gotta find an arcade game and then try to get to the end. I don't know how you get the character, but Robo Mario is a reskin that could happen too. But of course, the big thing here, the elephant in the room, is that for the Halloween tour, in Mario Kart Tour, they totally blew the opportunity and really people at that time in the game, a couple tours in with the release of Luigi's Mansion 3, people were really assuming that we would get EGAD and Gooigi. Gooigi, a simple reskin they could do on Luigi and EGAD as spotlights with Luigi's Mansion. It would have just been so obvious and perfect and it was the first big sign to me that in Mario Kart Tour, they're not developing a lot of new characters. They're gonna have the basic roster they start with and do a lot of reskins from there. And it was a big letdown, but there's still time. There's next Halloween and there's still time to do it. So let's get EGAD in the game. I've got him as a super and I've got him with lightning right now. There's not a lightning item for characters yet, but I figure why not? I mean, so far we don't have super horns and lightning and bullet bills for characters as their item yet. Cause the idea is that, okay, if you're in first, why do you want a blue shell or lightning? But think about anything else, when you're in first place and you have a special item, you're not necessarily gonna get that all the time. You're gonna mostly get bananas and coins. I think it would really be cool to have a lightning as EGAD's special item, because he's like such a, because he's the scientist and the tinkerer. Another cool idea would be to give him an oil can. You see these oil slicks all over Super Mario Kart, and now in Mario Kart Tour, you're seeing them pop up in the Mario Circuit tracks. It'd be cool to give EGAD a little oil can where he just, lays out a couple oil slicks behind him. Really good item they could do, very simple to develop. But for now, I give him the lightning. Feel free to debate this in the comments below. Number seven's a high-end character idea I've had. Originally a boss in Super Mario 64, but has appeared in lots of games ever since, including the new Super Mario Party as a main character. It's King bob -omb. So bombs throughout the Mario Kart games, the Mario games, but this King bob is a really cool character. He's Big guy, big mustache, big crown. Kind of a counterpart to King Boo, you can think of him like that. This would just be a really fun character to have out on the course. Of course, regular bob don't have arms. King bob does have arms, so don't worry about that. He was a boss in Mario Kart DS's really fun mission mode, so he has appeared in the Mario Kart game before. And the Super Mario Party for the Switch is a whole level based on King bob -omb. So he's in the conversation these days. Would just love to see him come to Mario Kart Tour. And for his item, I want to not just give him bombs, but I want to give him a big, super bomb. I want it to be like triple the size of a normal bomb. I want it to go off and create an explosion that's kind of like a super horn radius. I think it'd be really fun to have a super bomb for King Bob-omb. So let's do it. Number six is the beloved Luma from Super Mario Galaxy and Galaxy 2. Rosalina's right hand buddy. Um, their Luma are a species of course. There's lots of Lumas. There's the Hungry Luma, but I think you put a regular Luma in. It could be a common, but I had this idea to make it a high end because it's so special and fans have been wanting Luma. There's the Luma Glider that came out in Vancouver Tour. It's just teasing us, teasing us with this idea of the Luma. A Galaxy Tour would be a wonderful time to debut Luma. And for Luma's item, I'm just going there and I'm giving Luma the superstar. The star has not yet entered the game. It seemed like it would be a very overpowered item, but all you gotta do is decrease the chance of getting it a little bit. 
and it would be rad just to make Luma the one character with a superstar. Everyone would go crazy trying to pull for this character. If you want to sell rubies and if you want to make money, give us Luma as a spotlight and give him the superstar. Number five is a really wild one from Mario Kart 7. Playable character based on the original Rob, R-O-B, the robot operating buddy from Nintendo way back in the early days. Um, actual physical robot Nintendo released as a toy. Rob's had a lot of cameos uh, in the WarioWare series, which is wonderful. Rob's a playable unlock in the Smash games, but he was a racer in Mario Kart 7. It was really out of the blue. Everyone totally loved it. It was so cool to see Rob out there racing. He does have arms, but he, they're not on the wheels. He's got like a robotic interface with the cart somehow, and he just looks so cool racing. He was a heavyweight driver like Bowser, and he had a cool purple Nintendo D-pad as his icon. So Rob, let's get you back in the game. I've got him as a high end with the lucky seven. Would be so fun. Let's do it. All right, we're coming toward the end of the list. We're at number four. It's another big fan favorite that has never been in the Mario Kart series before. It's the beloved Toadsworth. Toadsworth first appeared in Mario Sunshine. He is Peach's uh, trusted elder. Some say it's Peach's father or grandfather. It's a little bit unclear. I remember back in Mario Baseball for GameCube, Toadsworth had particularly amazing vocal catchphrases. He was voiced by Charles Martinet, the legendary Mario and Luigi voice actor. My friends and I totally fell in love with Toadsworth during Mario Baseball. It just seems so obvious to bring Toadsworth in. You have Toadette already as a reskin of Toad. It would be so easy to design Toadsworth and I would just love to see him in the game. He even appeared driving the parade car in Mario Kart Double Dash. Parade car is quite large. I don't know if they could bring that <laughs> into the game, but he has appeared in the games before, so many games ever since then. For some reason, Toadette is always in all of these games, getting so much attention. I don't know why, but I just really want to see Toadsworth get the same amount of love. He is loved by all the fans. It would be so awesome to have him in the, the game. And a Sunshine Tour would be the perfect place to do it. Please, Nintendo, let's get a Sunshine Tour this summer. I'm giving him the Super Horn. For some reason, I just see Toadsworth having a Super Horn. It's a very powerful thing. I feel like he'd have it in his little pocket. Number three is the final returning player to Mario Kart that we have never had. If you know your Mario Kart, you probably know who this is gonna be. It's a character from all the way back in the original Super Mario Kart. It's DK Jr. I was hoping he might also come in for Mario Brothers Tour. No such luck. Of course, his first appearance was way back in the original Donkey Kong Jr. arcade game and Nintendo game, but he was a racer in Super Mario Kart. He was a heavyweight alongside Bowser. Or he eventually just basically got phased out and replaced by Donkey Kong proper. Apparently he was planned for Mario Kart Double Dash but got replaced by Diddy Kong. So you've got Diddy Kong kind of taking that role as well. But just as a throwback for Mario Kart fans, it would kind of be the ultimate to have DK Jr., one of the original drivers in Super Mario Kart, come back at the Mario Kart Tour. Okay, the final two. <laughs> if you know me, you might know what my number one is going to be. He's a character you can probably see behind me somewhere. But before that, we've got number two. The meme, the myth, the legend, Noshi. Okay, hear me out here. You know Noshi right now, or Noshi, from Dino Dino Jungle, and he started appearing in all these other tracks in Mario Kart Tour, including Tokyo and Koopa Beach. He's the big, blue, lovable, wonderful dinosaur that's hanging out in Mario Kart Tour right now. Noshi is the official mascot of Dino Dino Jungle. He's seen the little icon in Double Dash. Just how funny and fun and amazing would it be if Noshi became a driver in Mario Kart Tour after we've seen him in all these tracks? I think this would be a great thing to do for a one-year celebration of Mario Kart Tour, where we have like an anniversary tour this August, September, or a world tour, you might call it. And you could, just as a gift to the fans of Mario Kart, tour everyone has been playing and dealing with Noshi and all these tracks it would just be amazing to have Noshi as a driver now I know he's really big but think about it Bowser's also much bigger than Mario in normal scale but in this game in the card he's scaled down I'm not gonna get too hung up on that I'm just gonna say Noshi should be a driver in fact I'm giving him the super mushroom so that when he gets his item he gets extra large it would kind of be funny just to see him take up so much of the screen as you're racing with Noshi I just think it'd be a real fun idea for them to do for the fans and we are at my number one character I want to see in Mario Kart Tour it's a character I'm such a big fan of probably my favorite supporting character in the whole Mario Universe. That's right, it's Kamek, 
or Magic Koopa as he's also known. He's very much been tied to the Yoshi universe. So the Yoshi games, Yoshi's Island, all the way up to Yoshi's Woolly World and Yoshi's Crafted World. He's like kind of the main bad guy in those games. So the affiliation with Yoshi would be great for like a Yoshi's Island tour. Oh, that'd be so cool. Also featured in tons of other Mario Kart games, the Mario Luigi series, the Paper Mario series, the Mario Party series, and Super Mario Party for Switch. Just like King bob -omb has a full level based on Kamek. And I love this. Here's the image of it right here. It's actually like, it gives you a little context of like, what is Kamek's world? What is his vibe? I guess his vibe is he's a really rich uh, wizard who has this gold palace and this whole city. It almost reminds me of Shy Guy Bazaar, the vibe here. It's like, you feel like you're in another part of the Mario universe and you can have a great Kamek track. But here's the big reason why Kamek needs to come to Mario Kart Tour. If you're a Mario Kart fan, you know that Kamek, Magic Koopa, was one of the original characters planned from Mario Kart 64. Probably the best Mario Kart game ever. You had the eight drivers. And seen here in this early image from the game, you see Kamek as a driver. And it just like hurts my soul seeing this picture of what could have been Kamek in the best Mario Kart game ever. He got replaced with Donkey Kong. Like I said, Donkey Kong kind of phasing out DK Jr. and becoming a real mainstay in Mario Kart ever since. I would hate to have lost Donkey Kong in 64, but man, Kamek, it's so overdue for Kamek to come to Mario Kart. Think about it, he was planned for Mario Kart 64. The developers of the game obviously loved Kamek. He's been in all the games ever since. He's just an awesome character design. He's got the magic wand that shoots this I think you could design a cool new item here where it shoots these magic shapes and it kind of like spins people out almost like when you get iced by Ice Mario. But that's it, Kamek, he's my number one. I wanna see him in the game so bad. Yoshi's Island Tour could be a great place to do it or basically any time is good for Kamek. Let's just make it happen. So that's it, that's my list. Top 20 characters I want from Mario Kart Tour. Obviously I left tons out. There's a lot of honorable mentions. There's so many I didn't get into, um, but I had to leave it to 20 and even I had a few ties in there. So leave your comments below. Please click like, please send this to a Mario Kart Tour friend and let me know what characters I missed, what you thought about my character ideas, the item ideas I assigned to them. Here you can see all the icons. I really had fun putting these together. I love doing graphic art and um, it's kind of tantalizing to me just to imagine these people in the game and what a new wave in Mario Kart Tour of characters and forces could look like. So that's it. I'm Sammy D. It's Car Life. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. If you haven't seen any of my other core videos, please check these out. I've got top tips for beginners in Mario Kart Tour if you're new to the game. Also frequently asked questions about Mario Kart Tour that will just clear up a lot of the questions you might have about the game. It's a very complex game. It's a wonderful game. It's addictive. It's Kart Life. That's it. We'll see you next time.